Hi, welcome to Okra Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how I set up the Amcrest 1080p Wi-Fi Boda camera. And I'll be adding this camera to both my Android phone and my iPhone. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the power. Because it takes about 20-30 seconds for the unit to boot up. Next, you can take this time to download the app if you don't already have it. It's a free app on both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And it's a blue icon like a shield icon with a black background. And there are two versions. This is the Anchorage View Pro. Here I have the Anchorage View Lite. To me, it really doesn't matter which one you use. They're both free to just take your pick. And the next important thing to note is that the phone that you'll be using needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network that you wish to add a camera to. So I'll be doing the initial setup with my Android phone, and then later I'll switch over to the iPhone. By now the camera should boot it up. I'll just put it, place it to the side for now. And this, my smartphone is connected to that Wi-Fi network I want. I'm going to launch the Encrest Pro. On the upper left hand corner, I'm going to press that little dot 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 icon and then go to Device Manager. Here I can either add, add it by clicking the plus button or down here where it says Add Device. And um, this is the Wi-Fi camera. Now, some of the questions I get asked in the past is, folks, they try to, to use this method to add it, and it does not work. To me, this is probably the easiest and most common method, but other methods are to add it by adding this camera, connecting it to your, your router through the network cable. That works as well. I don't usually do that because that's an, an extra step, but it does work. It is an option for those that can Add that I cannot add it by using the Wi-Fi configuration setup. Well, in that case, plug in the network cable to the router and then on one end, other end to this camera, then choose this, the Ethernet Wi-Fi setup. And let me go back to choose the top one. Now I'm going to scan the QR code. On the bottom of the camera, there's a QR code. Basically represents a serial number. If you can't see the QR code properly, the serial number is also printed right below the barcode. Now I'm going to scan the QR code. I scanned it, automatically grabbed the serial number. I'm going to hit next. It wants me to give a camera a name. I'll just call it Outdoor. Then for the default username and password, it's both admin. I'll need to change that later. Now I'm going to hit next. Now I got to enter my Wi-Fi password. After entering the password, hit next. Now it says camera add connected successfully. What I'm going to do is hit live view. It's asking me to change my camera's password because of course having it as the default is not secure. Once I select my password, then hit modify password. is going to switch to live view. Hello. And well, that's it. It's done. Well, there's a little survey he's asking you to take down here. Sure. I'm saying I'm happy with it. All right. That's enough for feedback. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to add this camera to other devices. I'm going to launch the Anchorage View app. Same thing on the upper left-hand corner. Click that little dot, dot, dot. Click on Device Manager. And now I'm going to say the plus button on the upper right hand corner. Here, I'm not going to choose the Wi-Fi configuration because I already did that before. I'm just going to choose the add connected device. This one's grayed out, but I'm just going to select it. Then I'm going to choose the P2P setup. Now over here, I'm going to, need to give it a name. Let me give it a I'm call it outdoor. Then right below that has a serial number. I'm going to press the little barcode icon. Then I'm going to scan the barcode here. Now let's say that I'm not anywhere near the camera or the camera is already mounted on like three stories up. That's fine. As long as you have the serial number, you can always add it. You can even email the serial number to a friend, to your other family members outside the country. And that's essentially all they would need. Well, that and also the username and password. 
And then for username, I'm pick a password. So this is the new password I created. Once all this is entered, click Start Live View. And Live View. What I'm going to do is switch back to the Android device. I'm going to disconnect from my Wi-Fi. Now I'm only connected through the AT&T 4G LTE, not through Wi-Fi anymore. Now, of course, because I broke the connection, the picture froze. That's fine. I'm just going to close the Encrest app, open it back up again. I'm going to just go back to Live View Outdoor Camera, the one I just added. And there. So both the Android device and the Apple device are both being, are, they're now able to view this outdoor 1080p Boda camera. And the only difference between those two right now is that the this device right now is not connected on Wi-Fi. This means that I can be essentially anywhere. I can be in Iceland, I can be in Taiwan, it does not matter. As long as I have open internet connection, I have the serial number, I have the username, I have the password, I have this mobile app, well, now I can view it. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to set up the Ancrest 1080p Wi-Fi Boulder camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Uncle Hamster.